This is CBS 5 News, telling it like it is. Hey, did you know storing fat stem cells could be an insurance policy for adults? It's a procedure we're going to talk about right after this quick break. You're starting smart with the best conversation in the Valley. CBS 5 Morning News. Well, did you know that storing fat stem cells could be an insurance policy for adults? Here to talk about it is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Patak. Uh, and, of course, it is an interesting procedure. And tell us a little bit about it, doctor. Well, fat cells... Um have been uh, transferred and stored for a number of years. It's mm -hmm. not really anything new, but we've uh, basically just found out through a lot of uh, recent studies that uh, fat contains probably more stem cells, adult stem cells, not fetal stem cells, than any other tissue in the body, including bone marrow. Wow. So when we are doing simple procedures, even like liposuction, we have the ability now to take some of that fat that we normally throw away yeah send it off to a uh, tissue bank, which is actually a uh, very large and, and experienced tissue bank. The largest uh, down, in the world in Tucson. Down in Tucson. Huh? Over yeah. a half a million uh, uh, patient samples have been stored uh, over the last 20 years uh, through the cord blood registry. Now they've spun off another company called Adocyte, which uh, is the largest uh, uh, stem cell uh, tissue bank in the world. Well, how do you get these fat cells? We're looking at some video here, but uh, well, it's talk actually, about some of the procedures to get it, that. We can, we can do it through a very simple liposuction procedure or actually during any kind of a surgical procedure to just take a, a few extra uh, cc's, a few syringes, mm -hmm. anywhere from 50 to 200 cc's. The collection process is simple, and we just send it down to uh, Adocyte in Tucson where it's stored in liquid nitrogen. Uh, no ping pong balls uh, uh, involved in that. <laughs> yeah. I saw that segment. Uh, that was funny. Um, and then uh, it's stored indefinitely with what's an amazing, probably 99% survival rate when you rethaw those. So it really is like a bioinsurance policy for future therapeutics. Okay, yeah, let's talk about some of the diseases it can help cure here, because that's big. Well, Cancers? Absolutely. Stem cell uh, therapeutics have been researched now for a number of years, and going back to original bone marrow transplantation and, and you know, treating blood diseases like leukemia. But now, uh, over 100 clinical studies are going on now in the United States, uh, many more hundred around the world, and all kinds of diseases are being looked at to be treated with stem cell and gene therapy including uh, diabetes, uh, heart disease after uh, heart attacks, strokes, Alzheimer's disease, gastrointestinal problems, almost any kind of disease you can imagine Incredible. will probably be treated in the future with stem cells. We got 10 seconds to okay. cost real quickly. Uh, actually very minimal, under $1,000 for the harvesting and $100 a year for storage. For storage. All That's right, correct. well, uh, you could see the doctor talk about this, the stem cell storage, a free medical seminar, which is, which is awesome for everybody out there. It's Tuesday, October 2nd, from 5.30 to 7 o'clock, and uh, there's the uh, doctor's office right there. You can find out more information. we got a link to your website and information you. on this uh, interesting procedure there at cbs5az.com. Thank you, doctor. Thank Very you, interesting Paul. stuff. Thank All you. Right.